Hello dear students. So we were discussing about the structural organization of cell. And you have seen in a cell there are basic three uh, fundamental components. First is the outermost layer and that outermost layer is known as cell membrane or plasma membrane. But in uh, plant cell, this cell membrane or plasma membrane is further surrounded by another rigid covering and that rigid covering is cyto, uh, cell wall. Inside the cell there are two components. One is nucleus about which you have already done that it is the main controlling center of the uh, cell. Uh, nucleus is equivalent to the brain as uh, is the function of brain in our body. Same is the function of nucleus in the cell. And other than these two, the third component of the cell is protoplasm. Protoplasm which is observed as jelly like viscous material inside the cell. Remember when we have seen uh, the slide of uh, onion peel cells. In that slide you have seen the hexagonal shaped cells which are having uh, the thick boundaries and when we looked uh, at the stain you observed that the outermost uh, surrounding was or you can say the outermost layer was having a dark stain. Inside that there was a dark colored dot and this dark colored dot was representing the nucleus. And remaining part of the cell which has taken very less stain or you can say it was faintly colored and this faintly colored uh, part of the cell here is that is what it is nothing but it is the new protoplasm. So what is protoplasm now we can say the jelly like viscous material inside the cell membrane anything inside the cell membrane living component is known as protoplasm and this uh, protoplasm is basically the combination of two it is the combination of cytoplasm and nucleus or you can say nucleoplasm. So the nucleoplasm you have seen is the jelly like material present inside the nucleus. So anything between the nuclear membrane and cell membrane that is known as cytoplasm. If we look at the function of this cytoplasm. So uh, first of all it provides a turgidity uh, to the cell as well as it, it stores the raw material or the required um, nutrients for the cell as well as nucleus as you have already done that the exchange of material uh, which nucleus makes is with the cytoplasm. It obtains the uh, required nutrients from the cytoplasm and excretes out its rough or wastage in the cytoplasm. Other than this in the cytoplasm, there are the suspended cell organelles. And as you have already done, done that these cell organelles are responsible for uh, showing the division of labor in the cell. As these uh, cell organelles are specified or uh, specialized for performing their specific functions. So these specific functions are performed by the cell organelles. In uh, eukaryotic cells, uh, these cell organelles are membrane bound. As you know the basic difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells is that eukaryotic cells are uh, having a membrane bound nucleus as well as membrane bound cell organelles. But in prokaryotic cells, these membrane bound nucleus or membrane bound cell organelles are not visible. So here uh, we can classify the cell organelles into three categories which are present in the cytoplasm. First of all the cell organelles which are surrounded by double layered membrane. There are certain cell organelles in the cytoplasm that are surrounded by double layered membrane. If we look at these uh, uh, organelles, so these organelles are of course these are 
एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम विच एक्स एज यू कैन से स्ट्रक्चरल फ्रेमवर्क फॉर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेल अदर देन दैट देर इज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया यू नो इज द पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्टोरेज एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिक एनर्जी सो अनदर वन इज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया देन देर आर वैक्यूल्स and then uh, you can have uh, other than my endoplasmic reticulum uh, mitochondria vacuoles another cell organelles which are having a double layered membrane are got the golgi apparatus and of course another one is plastids although as you know plastids are visible only in plant cells not in animal cells then another type of cell organelles are those which are surrounded by single membrane and in that case we have lysosome so Uh, lysosomes that are known as suicidal bags of the cell and uh, they are responsible for uh, cleaning and uh, as well as digesting the unwanted material or any kinds of disturbances in the cell then that's why these are known as lysosomes or uh, you know the these are also known as uh, suicidal bags of the cell and third type of cell organelles are there which are having no membrane and these are ribosomes and uh, centrosomes and centrioles right so uh, you have seen that in a cell uh there is a jelly like viscous material and this jelly like viscous material is known as protoplasm and when nucleoplasm is removed from protoplasm then the material left between between the cell membrane and nuclear membrane that is what that is cytoplasm cytoplasm is also a jelly like uh, viscous fluid and uh, it stores all the, all the um, important materials for the cell as well as provides the medium and uh, the cell organelles also remain suspended in cytoplasm depending upon the number of surrounding membranes these uh, organelles are classified into three categories first one is surrounded by double layered membranes and double layered membranes surrounded are endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria vacuoles golgi apparatus and plastids and if you talk about the organelles which are surrounded by single membrane is only one that is lysosome and the another one are those cell organelles which are not having any uh, cell membrane and in that case we have ribosomes centrosomes and centrioles ribosomes are known uh, known as you can say they are the protein factory of the cell because the function of ribosomes is to synthesize protein for the cell so by using the raw materials like amino acids ribosomes synthesize the uh, proteins and the instruction regarding this protein synthesis is given by dna as dna uh, gives the instruction same type of proteins are synthesized by ribosomes and the raw material which is required for this protein uh, for this protein synthesis that is collected by the another type of nucleic acids present in the cell and these are known as rna that is ribo nucleic acids right so it was a, uh, a small introduction about the different cell organelles that remain suspended in cytoplasm and in a Now forthcoming videos will be discussing about the structures and functions of each of these cell organelles 
in details so let's have a good day and uh, wish you all the best goodbye